This playthrough is rated M for Mature. Greetings and salutations, viewers of Aldar Becker with another episode of Thief 2014. In the last episode, we continued uh, grabbing coinage and, uh, and, uh, and treasure from around the town as we finished some of the side quests. We're almost done. Hopefully today we'll, we'll have finished it. And hopefully I'll actually get that rope arrow to be useful so I can actually finish that one side quest. And then we'll get to plot. I swear. I swear to you it's so. Don't believe me, ho bo bo bo. Anyway. Alright, let's grab some more coinage. We're here to in this house of ill repute for some ladies of the evening because some guy was cheating them, I think. Out of the rifle earnings. Ooh, blood spots it looks like. Truly a house of ill repute. Ew, it's like gooey. It's all gooey. Ooh. Hey, 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 Garrett, put put your hands in the wrong uh, different spot. The painting's a lady too, you know. Anyway. Yeah, the classic lady. Actually, I think a lot of old art is like that too, where the kind of I won't say super realistic, but a lot of ladies were a little bit more uh, plump back in the day. Not like oh, my sick Willie survived only by his sense of humor. Huh? And now he's dead. The eel biters. Or maybe the mission with the ladies is another spot. But anyway, Slick Willie's Register. Last of uh, eel biters, loan number three gone. Girls want their cut or they're out. Okay, this is the one about the not paying the girls. No girls equals no scratch. No scratch equals no paying back the eel biters. Friggin' bells. What the? What's the lock on the safe? Is it the current year, I think. What year is it? Okay, so it's the current year. Uh, think think the eels are following me? Do you know about the Riverside Hole? One of the girls roll them. I think wasn't the year like eight forty seven or Willie's something like that. Business or? affairs were as bad as his health, but I'll take the Riverside tip. Okay, so let's see that's the other way. Okay, other way around. Let's finish grabbing the rest of this before we head out. Let's see, can't get there. It's kind of weird how some just doors you just can't get to. Ooh. Oh. Not. Just some silly mess. But we got some scissors. Some nice scissors. How about, can we get a hold of Scissor Kid? Uh, get him in on that? Maybe pay us some change for that? Eh, uh, different, different game series. Although both series have to deal with clocks in some odd way. It glitched through the door! Ah. Hello. Silver frame. Okay, almost done with this place. Luckily the game doesn't have us keep opening. What, or maybe does it? Oh, well, new letter. Okay. Uh, letter to Slick Willie. Willie, you, you bastard. <laughs> Who kn you know I've done you good and got... Doc Rod off of uh, you besides. Pay up or I'll send Jeb Chokes of the Eel Biters on a visit. He don't like people cheating him on his investments. Him. Hmm. And then what's this one? Who watches the watch? Yeah, we already... Okay, so apparently some newspapers pre... Hmm? Oh, that's just a close... Okay. Apparently some newspapers repeat, so... So you have to look at every single one. Okay. Did it just make a goopy noise when I stepped on his body? Ah, of course it did. Hmm. Ooh, okay. Anything else or just that? Okay. Let's see what's inside. Yeah, well, so unless... Ooh, it's there's the watch. Price if no one knows where it's been. That's true. Yep, completed that little mission. That didn't take very much. All right, one more mission to go. Let's see where this takes us really quick since uh, since we're here. Probably just takes us to the other side of this place. All right, time to see if we can get to that one, that one room that we couldn't reach before for some reason. Okay, nothing. All right, let's get that final. Whoops! I don't want to get that final objective. I mean, there's probably a lot more, like, uh, um, 
Oh, what's the word? There's a lot more, probably a lot more treasures and stuff like that, but I'm going to try to just get to the next area and see if I can... Oh, right, and I can't go around this way because we'll just, uh... Unless... Unless that's how you get inside is through that window there. Although... I'm almost wondering if, if that, like, is that gonna? I mean, is that how I'm supposed to use the rope arrow? Is the it? That, that's really not how you do it. Oh, come on, game. And I can't jump up here. Well then, okay, how was I supposed to do that? Because I just wasted like 15 gold, dude. That really pees me off. Maybe... Okay, let me... Well, that's... I thought that was how you're supposed to get to that, but it's... Apparently it's not. Is the game... Was it supposed to highlight if I could actually hit the, uh... Um... But yeah, was it supposed to highlight if I could actually, like, rope arrow something? I... Hmm. Well, I'm kind of peeved. I just wasted my rope arrow. I might... Hmm. I might just, uh, maybe do a quick edit and see if I can figure out how to... Uh, okay, maybe that's the way you're supposed to go around, too. Okay, let me grab another rope arrow, I guess. I can't believe I wasted all that money. That's so dumb. Alright, let's try it again. I guess me... I don't remember, like, when, when it showed me the rope arrow scene that it had to be, like, specifically, like... I'm trying to think what game had it where it... You can only use rope arrows on... Like, Tomb Raider, for example, had ropes, like, surrounding, like, certain wooden spots to say, Hey, this is where you can use rope arrows at. But I don't remember this game specifically saying that. Everywhere. I'm sure you'll right, find that. something to your liking. Yeah, yeah, yeah. See, upon impact with a suitable surface, a length of rope will unrail, allowing the user to climb and explore previous inaccessible areas. Okay. Yeah, I guess not enough money for. I'll Come just save back it. Soon. All right, try it again. We're gonna finish these. Up. We're gonna finish these missions today, folks. No ifs, ands, or buts. If I need to, I'll just, I'll just cut an episode down till I, till I get it successfully. I'm not gonna waste a whole episode trying to figure out how to freaking get, you know, to one spot of it, you know, because that's just not fun. I mean, I could just go on with the story if I really wanted to, but I, I thought, well, I mean, I'm doing all the side quests anyway. Might as well try to finish them off, you know. Okay. I mean, unless there's a way to, like, go around. Okay, what is considered a suitable surface? Like, there's that that has... Okay, is that it? Oh, it's it's highlighting blue. I guess that means I... Okay. Well, I'm glad I know that now. The game probably... I know the game when it told me how to get that bridge, um, uh, um, it, um, oh, what's the word? It would highlight blue if you need to, like, destroy certain things, but, I don't know, I guess I, uh, whatever. Maybe I'm just tired. I, I am recording kind of late, so it means I'm going to make more mistakes. Reminds oh. me of a birdcage somehow. Let's steal her notes. And turn off the lights. Miss Scarlet's diary. Ah, oh, Miss Scarlet. Oh, I, I do declare. Another suitor, another guest. My father's forcing me to keep up the seduction act while he stashes every bauble I receive in his vault. He thinks he's using me, but he's dead wrong. I hid in the closet last night, watched him open the vault, and carved the combination he used within the wood. Now I just need to knock out the old bastard and make off with the was rightfully mine. Well, I mean, you did put all the sexy work into it, so I guess I can't blame you for what you're due, so... 
But uh, I'm going to steal your due if you don't mind, lady. You both don't deserve it anyway. Only I, Garrett, the master of unlocking. Not Jill. Jill Valentine, she's a poser. Garrett is the master of unlocking. Although I do wish we had a Barry Burton of our own. Oh well. We all can't have Barry Burtons on their side. Yoink. Uh oh. Shoot. Did you see me? Whew. Keep your wits, man. We've got to knock your ass out when you get the chance. Alright, we're knocking your ass out. Not risking that again. Poink! And turn that off. Ha ha. Do you have anything on you, like a wallet or anything like that? Nope. Well, almost got caught. Well, you wanted your you wanted your dad knocked out, lady. I did it for you. <clears throat> Let's see. Ooh. More goodies. More goodies. Must make more money to upgrade all my stuff. Of course, we're not going to upgrade all immediately because we're still, you know, we're still pretty early in the game, especially with me doing all these side quest things. And we got to find this guy's treasure. Alright, is there anyone else in? Probably not. I assume they're just by themselves, but... Nope. Okay. Oh, and that's how we go out the other way. That makes sense. Oh, grab your gold tea, solid gold teacups. I hope that was worth the worth the price of admission. Ooh. Oh, nice. A hydrangea brooch. Brooch. The blushing petals and signify the giver's bashfulness or their embraced dis or bear's disgust. Ah, if you say so. Yeah, you don't have to mire it all day. You can mire it back at your back at your you know your clock tower. Alright. I'm sorry. Still have a bit of a cold. Alright. Man, chomp down on my teeth. Ouch. Alright, anyway. Let's see. Let's see, I don't have that. No, it's gotta be in there, because that's where the thing's pointing me towards. Yeah, more, more possible glass breakage. Alright. Anything there? Oh, nice. Okay, get some more steelage in. Feel bar bad. Well, you guys did steal from all these rich pe folk that were trying to woo your daughter, so. I would share with the lady, but uh, Garrett's a very selfish man. Hey. Hey. Come on, get in there. I wonder if that's why the dad came in there, is because he heard me mit 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 uh, messing up on the locks or something like that. Who knows? Ooh. Flask for drinking. It's three o'clock somewhere in the world, they say. Alright. Uh, okay, let's grab this. Wait, what? Can we move it? Cause she said she hid in the thing. Oh, I knocked him out. He can't. He can't show me about it, can he? Unless uh, we were supposed to like sneak around, get him to uh, show us where the treasure was. But didn't she say in her notes where it was? Yeah. See, here we go. We don't. We don't need him. That's fine. I was about to say. I bet that's one way how you're supposed to figure out where it is. Like you're supposed to actually watch him open it and then uh, like follow him open it and then. Uh, so that could have been one way to do it, but... Hmm, where's the... Oh, there it is, okay. There we go. See, we didn't need to, we didn't need to have a cutscene of him showing it. Uh oh, it's the... What What her notes say? Um, crap. I might just, I might just look it up online. <laughs> um, let's see. No, not here. Stone market, maybe? Let's, uh, let's see, another... And I just knocked out the old bastard. Oh. 
Let's see, I hid in the closet last night and watched him open the vault and carve the combination he used in the wood. Okay. Why didn't she write it in her book? I don't know. Oh, here we go. Uh, is that 824? Looks like 824. Okay. Alright, first one is a... Oops. Now we'll actually get this combination at least. Eight. Oops. Unlike real saves, I don't have to go in a specific direction to do it. Eight, two, four. Nice. Okay. Open sesame. Give me that hand mirror. Ooh hoo hoo. Here we go. I don't like nice. mirrors. I prefer to stay unseen. That makes sense. All right, let's grab the. All right, let's get out of here. Sorry, we took your we took your precious treasure for. Ah, ha, 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 ha. I am Garrett, master thief. And we'll just go. Yep, there's the alternate pathway there. All right, let's get out of here. Oop, any more any dudes around here? Yeah, I see a treasure up there, but I'm not gonna mess with it. <coughs> see, are there? No. Oh, oh, shoot! Oh no! Oh no! No, you didn't. No. No, you didn't. You didn't see nothing. You didn't see shit. Okay, let's get out of here. Woo. All right, now we're finally done with the side quest part of the game. Yay, that only took us a few episodes. Yeesh. Oh, well. I said I'd do it. and Luckily, I mean, really, in the grand scheme of things, it didn't take that long to do it. I mean... I mean, if, if any issue is me a, a little bit more dickish, dicking around and not knowing exactly where to go. But overall, it was a pretty close area, so it wasn't that out of my way to do it. Do I actually have to talk to him about getting rewards, or does it, do I just automatically get paid for that type of stuff? I probably automatically get paid, but I'll talk to him There's again. There's no work for black hands now. Okay. Come see me later. That's what I thought. When it says completed, I assume it, mean, um, it means I get paid, got paid for the job, so... At the same time, so oh, all right. Yeah. Um, let's check this dude. Get any more like last-minute resources before we. Uh, can't, buy, uh, can't buy any upgrades right now. I can't, but I don't think I'm. Um. Nah, I think. Uh, although I might buy. Uh, let's see. Choke arrow, noxious gas, knocks the guy out. See, so you got blunt arrows. Okay, let's buy it. We might go ahead and buy a couple of those for environmental use. And then grab another Stick rope arrow just shadow. in case. Okay, I think we're good. Alright, let's actually get on with the plot now. Hey, hey! Hey, hey, we're the plot now. And we don't just monkey around. Yeah, it was my, it was my, it was my choice to, to do the side quest. I do at least want to have a general amount of the upgrades before um, by the end of the game. Just makes it easier for any bits and pieces. So. I assume those people aren't going to be annoyed by me. Yeah, they look like regular dudes. So. Wait, what was the point of going over here? And yeah, no reason, I guess. Okay. Well, that's... You guys have fun. I'm going to go over here uh, uh, sneaking. What are you even doing all night, Garrett? Sneaking! Let's see. Nope, doesn't have anything on them. Yeah, probably shouldn't, probably shouldn't rob from people who don't really deserve it, so... Oops. Let me track the main objective since that's where we're going so. so I could have made this whole section like go by instantly if I just went to the went to the plot but uh, there'll be more tomorrow I'm sorry okay. the some of these gloomers bite off their tongues to make it stop some push in their eyes or their ears. Luck wants nothing to do with this city. 
Yep, sorry to hear that uh, the gloom's all around. I wonder what caused the gloom. Apparently it wasn't it wasn't around when Garrett was here a year ago, but uh, all of a sudden now it's everywhere. Well, then again, this doesn't seem like a very clean like uh, place, really, in the grand scheme of things. So it's probably, you know, it's probably like some disease that's a kind of combination of things, you know, a black plague of sorts. Although that was transferred by rats, but still, it didn't help that they rats were everywhere. The old chapel on Morningside, at the court of the Queen of Beggars. I guess, is she going to help us get some information on how to get the, um, the ring that we need, maybe? Ooh. New gods for an old city. This week, the Baron, uh, touted the series of the recently demolished chapels in Dayport. He expressed his hope to return shortly for inauguration of the pipe houses that would replace them. While some historians expressed dismay at the reconstruction work, all were quick to agree that the city must move forward. Perhaps the buildings held historical significance, the Baron generously debated, but they must make way for the significance of the future. Truly, the Baron may be the third North Crest to outlaw worship of the old gods, but the first to move beyond them. The Great Keep will ultimately provide power for the whole district. Hmm. So who are the gods in this world, then? Obviously, this is a fictional world with its own set of, like, beliefs. And, ooh, I didn't notice that earlier. Hey, we'll finally find out what's inside one of these things. Treasure? Items? Oh, collectibles. Well, there you go. <laughs> Our Lady of the Iron Litany Chapel. The following has been heavily defaced. Hope from within. Hmm. So I guess uh, for those who are going on collecting quests, buy the wrench as soon as you can. I should have done that. I don't know why I didn't do that. It seemed like an important item, too. Oh, well. I could technically go back and grab the others, but I'm, I'm not that hard pressed. I've already missed some collectibles, so... All right, I guess we're on to the next section, the old chapel. But what awaits us in the old chapel? Will we find that Garrett is a truly a believer of the old, old, uh, old ways? And what about the beggar queen herself? Is she going to point us in the right direction of the ring? I assume that's why we're going this way. Find out next time and finally go into the story of Thief 2014. Thanks for watching. Hope you enjoyed, and I'll see you next time.